Woo. These glasses have, what's her name from The Incredibles? The one, the fashion designer. They have that vibe. Um, welcome back. It's Saturday. My name is Laura. I don't have an introduction, but um, apparently I cook every night for you guys. That's that's the channel theme now. Um, I'm a pretty much a mess. I never cook anything correctly, but it tastes good. So, thank you for watching. See, that just feels like, I just like to chat. It's like, you guys are my friends. I don't want to be like, oh, thanks for coming. I can't. Like, I would never tell someone like, thanks for coming to my, Tina, thanks for coming to my house. Be a big gal. Like, I don't know. It's just not my, it's not my thing. Anyways, Amber, Mama to All Homesteads, letters one again. If you don't know, I'm trying to clean out some of my pantry. Aunt Sherman, Sherman short hair, come here. Oh, well, obviously where the dog's gonna go. That would be. If anyone wants to volunteer to be my doggy nanny, go ahead. Anyone, anyone can have the job. Um, what was I saying? Oh, Amber's letters one again, S and G. So I was gonna do a sausage and chicken gumbo, and then I didn't have any sausage. But then when I was pulling out shrimp to make shrimp not for the gumbo, because I read the rules. You can't put shrimp, plus I don't eat shrimp. We're not mixing them. But I was just gonna make shrimp because I'm making rice. I have a big one, she's picky, she'll eat shrimp and rice. But then I found some, don't. I know bratwurst is not supposed to go in there. But it was, I had it, it's from the food pantry. It was patties. When am I gonna eat a bratwurst patty? So I put some in with some Slappy Mama seasoning in the water and in a boil, cause it was frozen. And also, guys, I grew up in California. I grew up in the ghetto of California with the whitest mom. And she's from a little town in Idaho. Literally, they, she was born in 1934. An old lady, white as they come, the most Mormon lady you've ever met, for me to even know what gumbo is, I feel like I'm doing pretty good. This is what I grew up eating. You know what though? It's to, how, how many other real white people can say they've had gumbo, even if it's from this pack? No, I, I don't know. Maybe at a restaurant. But I grew up eating this weekly. Probably because these were cheap and she could put whatever vegetables in it. I got this on clearance before before we moved. So I've had this for a while. I, I probably had this for like a year. For 69 cents. And these are thawed because I took them out. But I also have had these bag of mixed veggies for a long time. They expired in 2023. But again, they've been in my deep freeze. I have a bell pepper. I have some leeks. I have a little wilty red onion that was in my, my fridge. I have some chicken from the food pantry and my bratwurst sausage. And they look like that because like I said, they were like patties. Um, I need to rinse them off before we cook them because they have the, that junk on them. But we're gonna make gumbo and it's gonna be delicious. That's why I said we don't make things correctly here. Oh, also, and you have to have a like a close up of my face at one point. So. I cooked my chicken in the in the stock water. Took the chicken and the sausage out, but I'm gonna put this in the water. This is just gumbo base. Oh crap! I splattered a lot. It was payday week, so I could afford paper towels, the generic kind. <coughs> Because, yes, and I use my kitchen rags, but, like, for that, um, well, I don't even have a kitchen rag. This is a, another burp cloth. <laughs> They're in the dryer. Don't judge me. Okay. I need some water. We were outside playing. It's beautiful, but the girls were playing in the sandbox, and you know what that means when little kids play with sand. They throw sand, and they eat sand. So I feel like I just have, like, a coating of sand in my throat. Isn't this cup amazing? 
It was when I was fancy and I used to collect Starbucks cups. Isn't that great? So, I have my water. Let's stir this. Let me turn you down. So, I just want to make sure... Oh, I talked too long. And now that's all clumpy. Give me a second to get these clumps out. See, no problem, we fixed it. I am gonna throw in the vegetables. Not the, um, not that yet, cause those are cut up really tiny. These are a little bit bigger and fresh. So they're gonna cook a little bit longer. Oh, my, my rice is making a sound. Okay, now I'm gonna chop up my meat and I'll be right back. I forgot to hit record. So I chopped up one of the chicken breasts and the sausages and I put those in here. I think both both chicken breasts would be too much. Um, and I like to have, I've said it before, I like to have some chicken just in the fridge for whatever lunches happen this week. Um, this, I've already showed you putting it in the container, but that's the other half. So it's not a ton, but that'll be great. Like today we had quesadillas for lunch. I used the leftover beans from taco night and I took some of the rotisserie chicken and I cooked that with some taco seasoning and shredded some mozzarella. And then I made like a cream with the salsa that I made that night, sour cream and some lime. And we dipped our quesadillas in that with some cilantro and tomato on the top. But that's why I like to have it just because it's for the girls. If I have extra rice, we do like broccoli and rice or whatever and chicken. So both of these were from the food pantry. I think the sausage was newer because it was upstairs. The chicken was downstairs in the chicken section of my freezer. This is what those look like. I'm pretty sure I got this with Wick because I um, didn't have any frozen veggies. So... For a couple of months, I would use a few, like, five to six Wick dollars and get frozen just to have some on hand for the winter. And these didn't get used. So that's what we're going to throw in there. I have a whole bell pepper in there because I'm not sure when I stopped to stop, didn't press record. And I had some bread from the food pantry, but t t the short hairs were out there with me in the yard because they run up and down the hill and it's good for that especially the chunky brown one um but she just tried to eat the chicken scraps the whole time not the chickens just their scraps because she's fat fat um but tina was in here alone and she was like oh i like bread i think it's so funny when i'm editing videos that she's just standing like real far in the background waiting for me to invite her to eat so I always have to zoom in on that. Um, so I'm just waiting for the rice to start cooking down and then I'll cook the shrimp because the shrimp will only take a few minutes. So while that happens, I'm just gonna tidy up. Oh, excuse me, I have like the hiccup burp. I apologize for that grossness. Um, I'm just gonna clean up a little bit and I'll be right back. All right, I had to refill my onion and garlic powder. The rice has about five more minutes. I am low on butter, so we're gonna use this from the, this uh, vegan butter from the food pantry to cook the shrimp in. That's what I got. I'm gonna put these veggies in. That looks really good, nice and thick. Let's give a little taste test. Has peas, not my favorite, but whatever. Mm. 
Okay. That's good. Let's add some some white pepper. <laughs> and a little bit of Cajun. Not slap your mama's because I don't want any more salt. The slap your mama's has salt. But just a little bit because I don't want it to be too spicy. I think some smoked paprika would be really good in it. And some parsley. I'll give that a little taste test. Um, I like to. I'm putting a little bit more Cajun in. And I'm just gonna do a splash of Worcestershire sauce. See, that's like 500 times better. That's so good. Okay. Throw my shrimps in. And since this is mostly for the big kid, but the little ones like it too, I'm just going to keep the seasoning pretty basic. They're a little bit frozen still. I don't want to touch it. I hate it. I do not like shrimp. I do not like shrimp here or there. I do not like shrimp anywhere. So this is for the people I love, not for me. And the rice is done, so that's perfect. So on that, I'm gonna do a little bit of onion. I had to wash the, the ch ch ch, cause I got, it wet and then the onion stuck wet. So that's a little bit of onion, a little bit of garlic, a little more, more garlic than not, and then some salt. Everything is way over here. I'm gonna let those cook. I'm gonna cut up some fruit for dinner. This video is short. That's okay. That's good. And then you don't have to see all my crazies. Um, let me wipe my lens. Dang it, I clicked out of it. This is the big ones. Very basic. That's the babies. Yes, she's already had shrimp. No, she's not allergic. Yes, she's allergic. We give it to her anyways. We're just hoping she'll have <laughs> yeah. uh, That's the middle ones. I don't think she likes peas. But that's okay. I don't like peas either. And then that's the big people's food. It smells delicious minus the shrimp. There you have it. There's dinner. I don't want it to look like we're trying to be inappropriate. All right. Thank you for stopping by. Do you need a taste test? Here, come and taste test. We will see you tomorrow. What, what is this? You need a spoon. Um, I need to go through and add all the new ones. Look at that, see, every time. Um, did someone say I need a taste tester? I'll taste test it. I'm not even going to edit it. I'm just going to do it with my own voice. Um, I don't hold spoons very well. I'm kind of a downer. I'm kind of a downer, but I do like combo. Okay.
Grab a grab your bowl. That's my bowl. And not that it matters, it's okay. I'm just gonna hold it. Sorry guys. It's hot. I don't know why I blew. <laughs> mom, mom life. Mm -hmm. I added some extra stuff into it. That's a good gumbo. I told him that I know it's probably the whitest gumbo ever, but our parents his dad is from Idaho as well. They're very white. Like so white. So white. <laughs> and the fact that I even had gumbo growing up was amazing. But anyways, thank you for hanging out. I don't have my phone cover on, so I'm holding my phone work. I will see you tomorrow. Bye, best friends.